Okay, we're in the basement of Casa de Alt. Uh, Matt's wife is gone here for the afternoon, so it's time to break out the toys and the brews. Oh my god. This is gorgeous. Ah! Look at that. Here, go through. Just start no, going. break them down. You gotta break these down. Okay, well, this is the Golan. This is like a giant combining vinyl Golan. It's pretty fucking cool. Yeah, Popey, uh, what would you estimate to be the street value on that? I don't know what the street value is. They're tough to find. I've never seen one of those before. It's like probably a couple hundred bucks easy. I got this as a gift, though, from. Uh, from uh, King Zarkon? From Alan Yen. From uh, Prince, Prince Lotor. Here's a. Um, oh, wow, the legendary god giant Ideon. And he shoots like a spinner from his chest. And then here's his like little brother. The not as legendary god giant. Here, let's move these. Let's move these Kleenexes, shall we? And also, let's move the machine rollers. This table is going to become. You're going to become a friend of horror, Patrick. Okay, this is something that's pretty fucking tough to find. Look at this. Okay, what's going on there? This is a Gundam vinyl with your eraser for erasing. So look how realistic this looks. Doesn't it look just like the Gundam you know and love. Yeah, it really does. It's fucking awesome. Why don't you open that and use the eraser to like well, erase some mistakes we, we have in this, your life? We have this. We have oh, that's this. beautiful. Never divergenize the wow. card, Patrick. Never divergenize the card. You what would you estimate to be the street value on that? I don't know. These go for these go for a hundred easy, hundred two hundred maybe. But like, it's not about the money, man. It's about it's the, love. the love. You're doing it for the people or it's for the, the price? Love. God Mars and his arm. Check that out, dude. Do that, like, is that uh, the price you paid for it on the front? No, God, I wish. Seven hundred dollars. I think I got that one pretty cheap. This, from, is, this yeah. is a present from somebody. Uh, he's from. Uh, um, uh, I'll tell you. Uh, I'll tell you. Uh, don't tell me. Um, uh, fuck. I give up. Kyodine. Oh, uh, okay. He's the guy from Kyodine. And do you know who this is? Uh, it's the guy from uh, fuck the, com com the multi combination robot whose name escapes Gordian. Yes, he looks like you, kind of. Okay, well, thanks. I appreciate that. Um, I'm okay. orange. My well, we're just, we're just getting here. started here because look at this. A dead body. Wait, oh my god. This, go. this just goes down and down and down. These are levels and levels and levels. Of, of all just little softy robots? Yes. See, my, my, what are some of the highlights? My fetish here is collecting vinyls of real robots. Like, not super robots, I see. I but see. real robots. See, like this. That's pretty realistic. This is realistic. See? That's see? a goof, isn't it? It's a goof. This is a Gundam. This, this gun, these Gundam ones are actually... I'm trying to find a place where we can put all of these down. Look, here's, here's a variation. These Gundam ones are incredibly, incredibly tough to find. Here, let me. Let's, can we get them all in one hand here? No, can we? This is. Whoa! Whoa! Anyway, Gundams. Okay. Do you know? Nice. Uh, how much are one of those? The most expensive one. I don't know what they're worth individually. The, the most expensive ones, the ones I don't have. They're like the the white base, the little spaceship. Oh, I see. And the gun tank, which are the ones that kids didn't want. And those are worth like hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Yes. Because I'm mean, keep asking about the price because nothing has any value unless it's worth some money. That's true. Me. That's that's definitely true. Let's go to Dunbine. You know, but this is the interesting thing. A lot of these Dunbine, Dunbine, is that Dunbine? This this really sexy. No, guy well, here? this is like Dunbine's right. enemy. So this is Dunbine here. So. Okay. The Aura Battler. The Aura Battler Dunbine, and then we have we have his. I think it's called Dana Oshi. I don't know. I don't know Dana called. Lewis. Look at these. Look at this is these are tough to find. Like because nobody cares about these. Nobody wants these. They want like kaiju. They want monsters, right? Nobody well, wants robots. The, I assume the real fans wanted to build the fucking plastic models. Exactly. And they kind of I mean, come on. Let's let's be let's let's be brutally honest here. Uh it's, it's kind not of sucks. Exactly the best portrayal of Gundam yeah. ever. So anyway, we're gonna we're going on, we're getting a little deeper here now. We're you know, Matt, it's deeper. almost as if some of these toys were made for children. Sasaragger. Okay. Sasaragger. Real nice. robot. He's a train. He's a robot. He's he is robot. really a robot. Real robot. Okay, what's, okay. what's down? Now we're gonna get we're gonna get a little bit. We're gonna this is the third circle of hell. Another Ooh. chamber of shell. We're getting good here. Macross. So okay, for, before we get into Macross, let's talk about a little show called Zabungur. Zabungur. Walker Machines. This was like a show that came out right after Gundam, and like for people who were saying that Gundam was a little bit too much about politics and stuff. This is more just like kind robots of, slapping each other around. Exactly, it's the like butt. a comedy. It's like a it's like a whack. And these are like they made the robots as like a realistic as possible. If you can look close, there's like shovels and shit like glued on there. Like that. So and these are like you can see like little pilots in the in the cockpit there. Super super realistic stuff. So you feel any realism? Uh, where did you get all these marvelous? I have been collecting these over the course of like ten years now. And, like, I think I'm very close to having almost every real robot Good vinyl Lord. ever made. So, anyway, these this is super tough to find. These are these are mini Macross vinyls. And Macross was, like, all about realism, right? And, like, how... Transforming Valkyries. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, look at... It's, there's, no, there's no transformation here. Look, the feet aren't even cut out on the side. Look at this. But, yeah, they're cool. They have this kind of... They have this really kind of... 
It's cool. like somebody could put shampoo or bubble bath inside of them or something like that. But it's exactly this kind of proportions and shit that I like so much. So, but look at this. This is pretty realistic. Are those are the proportions you like right there. This, this is what I like. Nice, nice body, long legs. See, I'm a breast and thigh man myself. So we have all when these. It comes to the twelve pieces. This bucket. is like one of the few vintage bad guy Mock Ross toys ever. Believe it or not, this and this. Like there's the narrow. Very nice. Yeah, those are really sweet. Yeah, look at this. Like this, like, like in a, you know, in a gambling situation, who would you put your money on, that or like a Valkyrie? This is fucking awesome. So yeah, bad guys would have an armored Valkyrie. Very That's nice. No super Valks though. Did they, did they make any for the Macross movie? They did not make super Valkyrie vinyls for that because by that point they're like, oh wow, anime is for adults. Oh, so I this see. is kind of like all from that sort of. Because this is a show called. This is from a show called Acro Bunch. Four okay. bad guys. Ask for it by name. Look at this. They have this kind of weird third leg fascination Sugar going on here. Acro bunch. This this one is actually pretty cool. This is like this, this like three legged like War of the Worlds. Kind oh, of, it's a tripod kind of thing. And there's more, 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 they more. They keep more, going more. down, man. Here's that bundle himself. Wait, who's this handsome devil right here? This is actually a fake toy. Somebody gave me this. This oh. is like Robot X3 or something. I is think that it's Pachi, X1. Pachimono? This is total total Pachimono. Here, let me sit down here. Well, we're gonna uh, have, uh, the Dograms. Yes, this is. Hold these on, are, those are hot. Those are red hot. Dogram and Saltic. I'm a big Saltic fan. Look at that. Wow. At that. I'm pretty embarrassed about this like ghetto cardboard box. I'm storing these things. In, you should really be ashamed of yourself. I am. I, no, I'm not ashamed that I'm a grown man who collects robot toys, but I'm pretty fucking ashamed about this cardboard box. Do you know? Do you know? Uh, Orgus. Orgus. Yeah. Olsen special. Olsen twins. Come on. You love them. Let's see. This is from. Uh, I think it's called like Henshin Ninja Arashi. That's not from Ninja Arashi. No, not Ninja Arashi. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's called um, Fuck. What's the name of the show? Fuck. It's like this weird. Oh man, they just came out with the Chogokin of it. Anyway, I'm Samurai forgetting. Pizza Cats. It's real. It's as real as they come. More, more Macross here. Macross. Very nice. Do you know? And this is kind of cheating. Sun Volcan. This is cheating. This is God. Sun Volcan ain't no real robot. Yes, I know. I'm. I'm kind of. I'm bad. I'm a bad boy. Look at this. On the right. What's he from? This is this is the like if you have the combined. Oh, sub, I get it. Okay, they all like combined to leg, make sense. Leg, leg, whoops, leg, and that his guy's lawyer. there. And I'll exactly. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you ready? Can you can you handle the next? This ball? is really the never-ending story can, can part handle, three right here. Okay, ball? let's try. Dude. Okay. Okay, now look at this. This is this is the this is our Vegas. Bioman. No, oh, our Vegas. Okay. So they tried to make this like a Voltron character, but. Oh, just they never showed the anime, but they marketed some of the toys. Yeah, they sold the die cast, but they actually made this vinyl of it here in Japan. Okay, and it doesn't get any more real than this, does no. it? No. We're keeping it real. Let's put this on here. This is like a nice crown. What's this the is, big fatty okay, right there? This is the, this is the crown jewel of the collection. And you know what? I can already tell this is starting to get kind of warped. So I really need to come up with a better display solution. This is from a show called Strungle. Okay, Outer Space Strungle. And this is, and it was like a kind of rip off of Mission Impossible with a giant robot. Okay, that's what the show is about. This vinyl is probably the single rarest one in here. Nobody's ever seen a second one. We found I bought it years and years where, where, ago where? in New Jersey of all places. Good from Lord. A New Jersey toy dealer. And just to go show you, like you never know where you're going to find this stuff. Especially in New Jersey. But nobody's and it's weird because it's a vinyl but it has these like metal like bars on the legs. That is it's really look, weird. It's like a belt buckle or something. Yeah, exactly. And it even it looks better than the die cast toy. But it's I mean look at all this like fine detail they put on here. And it was sold in a box. It's so fine. Tank tank treads. But we've never, ever spotted it. Have you shown this one. to Japanese collectors and gotten an appraisal well, or anything? Like, like, Japanese collectors don't care about this shit yet. Yet. I think we're ahead oh, of the curve Oh, okay. Here. I get you. I get I you. Right. Anyway, see, he's kind of deformed now because he's been laying in this box. Oh, I yeah. need to, I'm going to have to get a hair dryer. He belongs in a museum. He does. Transformers? More than meets the eye? Look at that face. That's, yeah, startlingly lifelike. And just look at this gun, dude. That's disgusting. That's awesome. How does that work? Oh wait, you got a, a is that Shin Get a Robo? Yeah, this is Get a Robo Go. Okay. This is Get a Robo Go. And oh boy, you're gonna be excited when we get a little bit further down. This is Get a Robo Go. Okay. This is this is not Gona Guy, actually. Oh uh Ishikawa. It's Ishikawa. Ishikawa right? Ken. It's Ishikawa. Not to be confused with Takakura. This is like a, a different version of our Vegas. This is the blue guy who who combines into this. So I'll put those there. This is Larry Dunbine the third. These are from Zabungle. Okay. Zabungle. More Orguses. More Orguses. More Orguses. And this is kind of a cheat. He's from he's from Red Baron. Okay. But, so he's a silly man in a rubber suit robot. But it was real. 
Okay, it was, was, was it real for you? It was real. See, I only collect real, okay? Right, let's go down. Oh my god! See, now we're getting a little bigger here. This is like a kind of larger scale. These are really tough to find. These are... Um, Giant Gorg? Giant Gorg and the bad guy from Giant Gorg, which is called Mammon. And uh, this is the thing, like with vinyls, like they sold the bad guys a lot. Like they never would go through the... the like, there's a ton of like Giant Gorg toys in the like plastic models and die cast and shit like that. And nobody ever makes the bad guy. But vinyl is so super cheap that you can. You can do that. So you guys lay there. These are really, this is like some of the, my, my top stuff that I'm really into. These are like big sized Macross vinyls. And they're like super tough to find. You can almost never get them. They were sold in these like translucent window boxes. They just came out and like nobody cared back then because... Who is the market for these? Like the, kids who couldn't afford the the Takatoku but, transforming yeah, Valkyries. I guess so. And or the, now didn't, couldn't build the model kits. And now me, and I actually have this kind of cool, like kind of like they're a little bit more oh, poseable. Oh, I see. They ironically look more like the anime than like yeah, the toys. They do. look like the bad episodes animated yeah, in Korea versions. Exactly, where the ones like where they're all like kind of like working all night to get the episode finished, kind of thing. Probably ironically, right here in Kijoji. And this is total cheap. This is from Ging Guys, or he's no, he's not real. Okay, ready? Okay. Ready? Because we're getting down to like some super real stuff. Here. This is probably the real... This is this is from a show called Dorvac. Okay. And this is... I remember a, Dorvac. And this is a... Um, it transforms... It was actually sold as a transformer. This design it was called like Roadbuster or something like that. But they made a vinyl of it, which obviously wasn't sold in America. VV. 54. Yeah, I had a Dorvac playset that had like a, a three or four different robots from the series in a single box at one point that I think... You know, my dog ate or something like that. This is here. We'll get, we'll get rid of it. This is more... Uh, this, these guys go together, actually. These right. guys and this guy. This is really super tough to find. The medium-sized ones. This medium-sized scale... Boy, he's really starting to look deformed. i got to fix these guys. Is uh, And you can see, look at his head there. It's starting to look, lean forward a little bit. That's because he's been like laying in this box. Oh, for, like, he's got the lean, long. the gangster lean. Exactly. So, But the thing, one of the things I really like about these toys is, look at this. You can see like somebody hand-painted this. Okay. You can see like the brush strokes and stuff on it. Someone in jail, probably. It's, yeah. I mean, seriously, it's probably exactly what was going on here up in Omochi and Omachi. This, here's the big dug around. That's and really it, big. It's not small. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The honeycomb hideout. Uh, okay, we got another Dunbine. I want to see the Daikengo. I want to see the Daikengo. Yeah, let's pull Daikengo up. Whoops, let me put this on here. This is a little Daikengo. This actually is from a set. There's a bunch of vehicles in there. We'll okay. come back to him. Let's come back to him. The vehicles. These are from, speaking of vehicles, do you know who this is? No. Okay, this is, it was sold in America as like Pentabot, but it's actually this show called, I can't believe I have to look this up. I'm so... Lawrence Welk. Back Singer. Oh. Singer. Now, the interesting thing about this is, this is like a transforming vinyl. It actually transforms oh my God. into the motorcycles. See? Oh, Jesus. See, look at that. Look at that. Awesome. A little sidecar for the, the midget. See? See? And this is, it came with these like little I get it. Okay, wheels. it's four you awesome it? motorcycles. Four awesome motorcycles in one that super That is a hot awesome machine. Robot. Yeah. Okay, we're going down one more level. How oh, many more levels is, are there? This is really super difficult. Okay. Briger, okay. that's what his name is. Anyway, I, I can tell. We're, we're, the kids are getting tired, aren't they? Well, we have a 15-minute limit on YouTube. We're at 13 right now. This is the last level. Actually, it's not. There's one more level down. So this is a big size. We've seen these characters before. Do you know who this is? Uh, she's. Uh, I know these these guys are from the same series. Yeah, well, this uh, is the, the name. These of it. guys. This is Ging Geyser, and this goes with those same little guys we were looking okay. at before. But uh, this is Baratac. It okay. was like a sequel to Jig and those like magnetic yeah, robot shows. Yeah, it's a shows. late 70s robot show. Yeah, look at that. And then we have a bunch more stuff here. There's a bungle. The a bungle. Uh, uh, wait, that's, that's your boy right there. What's his name? The fucking... This is Machine Blaster. This is like a cheap ripoff of like Mazinger Z, which I really love. Oh, there was like three other Machine yeah, Blaster three, robots. Yeah, there's, okay. there's like one or two in there. Now we're at the very last level. The grand finale. The grand finale. Look oh at this. Oh my god. Look at the size of this. Giant Saucer Riger. Perhaps you remember his smaller buddy. Larry Riger. This is this is like 80s. Like, seriously. Okay. So we got right Rock Bat. Dunbine. Okay. That's a nice big Dunbine there. I need to fix him because he's got, a, he's got a broken head thing there. Less than one minute left. Guardian. Guardian. Okay. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. The vehicles that go with Daikengo. The vehicles that go with Daikengo. Do they, they don't combine, though. No. Rock Bat. Yep, Blazer. This and, is Haraguchi. Okay, and the grand finale. This the explosive awesome climax. Mock Red Baron. Baron. Oh. Red Baron. Look at this. Someday this? all of this will be yours, Matt. Wait, it already is. 
God, I'm a superior human being for owning all this robot software.